Uh, Alien Resurrection. Okay. Number four. Uh, I think last episode, we were saying we thought Alien 3 was supposed to be the worst one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. This is the one everyone hates. This has to be, right? Yeah, it's got to be. As soon as I watched it, I was like, I bet this is what he meant. Yeah. Because it is so bad. It, it is, is so bad. Terrible. And like, you know what's crazy is like the first 20 minutes uh-huh. of watching it, I didn't think it was that bad. I was like, I this is definitely better than the first two. And then it just got worse and worse. <laughs> and it literally upset my stomach. It was unsettling. What were there were so many weird things. What were you eating while you were watching it? Because I feel like that might have been more upset your stomach than the movie. No, it was nothing. You're drinking toilet water? I had eaten in 72 hours. <laughs> yeah, I want, that might have been it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just all the, the weird alien creatures that she finds. And just, I'm, I'm sick of seeing all the alien slobber. It's just gross. <laughs> yeah. It's so overdone. They were very like, slimy. I get that they're aliens, but can they not keep their mouths closed? Or do they not, can they they were, not seal it? Like, it's just gushing. They're covered from head to All toe. the time. Yeah, it like they'd all just been birthed. Yeah. It was horrendous. <laughs> and then there's the creature thing at the very end, the white gooey looking oh, it just I hated it so much. I hated every oh, bit of it. Okay, yeah. So to establish at the end of Alien Three, Ripley, the main character, Sony <clears throat> Weaver, is impregnated or is it impregnated? Implanted? Implanted? I don't know. I it's, guess impregnated doesn't I guess feel it, right. I think it is. You could say that, what, and it would be right. What do you call it when like a bug plants a head? Like if a a fly goes in your ear and plants a. Unfortunate. <laughs> but what would that be called? Because that's not impregnated. Uh, mm, I don't know. I have no idea. But whatever you call that is what happened to Ripley. She has a queen alien in her chest. And because of that, she decides to kill herself, save the world, to end all these aliens. Yeah. And she throws herself in love. 200 years later, for some reason, now this made zero sense because there was like. None of this movie made sense to me. There was three people that knew that she even killed herself, right? The people from the company. Yep. None of those people should have even known she had an alien in her body. Yeah, exactly. But somehow they knew. But how did all this information get passed down to these guys 200 years later who are like, if we can get her DNA, we could clone her and clone the alien and well, then be able to, like... Maybe the company right then started attempting to clone her and it just took 200 years to get it right. I don't know. Maybe. No, I don't know. It, I, I don't, don't I definitely so. put that much thought into Cause it. Cause that company wasn't the same. That wasn't the same group. They even make reference no. to them being someone different. Yeah. It, I, 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 I thought this one was going to be like number two, just cause a, a lot of the characters were really like, over the top personalities, you know, like Ron Perlman and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Which, and then I was right. <laughs> Ron Perlman was so bad, and all of them were so bad. Yeah, he was. He, the only person that I didn't have any huge problems with was like Winona Ryder. Yeah, I was, thought she was fine. No, and then uh, the guy in the wheelchair, he seemed okay. He seemed okay. I don't know. I don't know his name, but he also. Um... He was like, he says he seemed kind of like mentally slow. So him being weird. I thought he was at first. Made more sense. Like, I don't know if that terrible say, but like him being, him seeing mentally challenged made the weird act add up more, you know, where everyone else was like just uncomfortably weird. But part of the issue with this movie is I don't think anybody knew what they were making. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Um, 
It. Who directed this one? Was it? It wasn't Ridley Scott, was it? No, I don't know who did it. That's disappointing. No. Um. It. So they. <laughs> uh. So Josh. Exactly. Whedon, Josh, Josh Whedon wrote it. That's what I was trying to say. Josh Whedon wrote it, and he. Josh Whedon. Josh. Josh, or or Josh. is it Josh? I can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How do you say it? Joss. 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 Yeah, like J-O-S-S. Yeah, Joss. J-O-S-S. Josh. Josh. Yeah, Joss. <laughs> Joss. I don't know why I can't say it. Um, he wrote it, and he wrote it like comedy. And they filmed it like comedy, but the actors acted like it was serious drama. And the editing yeah. was horrendous. So one of the things is in comedies, you kind of want to uh Ken wants to know how you got your timer oh there is a timer going i did that with stream elements but that's not even the right time that's like <laughs> uh 45 minutes behind so i'll have to fix that um you think it's 45 minutes behind it just hasn't been as long as you think oh, it has oh no <laughs> that's in trouble <laughs> i'm in trouble um i guess i have to go for an extra 45 out 45 minutes um it's gonna be the game changer oh man this movie is so terrible so they yeah it really is in comedies you have an action and a reaction you focus on Mm -hmm. the reaction because that's where the comedic moment is yeah right so you something crazy happens and then you cut to someone's reactions you can know what you're supposed to take from it. see them they're freaking out and build your the drama with drama you tend to focus more on the action and they try to allow you the audience to decide how to think. right less yeah. less about the characters you want to put yourself in that position in this movie it was all about re- actions were so short <laughs> and the reactions were three four times longer than any of the it it's this really movie bad. was so it's it's so bad it's one of those ones where you just you can't even really find the words because you're so frustrated that you even have to watch it it's it's so bad it I, I to be honest i couldn't really tell you what the plot is i mean i think i have a general knowledge of it mm-hmm. but i got i got lost so many different times from what i understand yes. okay uh-huh. for some reason they, they're cloning Ripley because she had the queen in her chest, mm-hmm. correct? How would that transfer into making a person? Like, first of all, why? Who thought that was a good idea? Why would it transfer into making a person? Because they, they got her DNA and it was all mixed together. So they did it. She was the number eight. Clone. Were they... Were they intentionally trying to make hybrids then? I I no. was under the impression they were. They it were, was like they were trying to clone Ripley, and then they she would just have a, a queen inside of her to to birth. Yes, but right. Yes, so but the, does that make sense? The, their intention had nothing to do with Ripley. Ripley was only the host. She was what was going to incubate alien. No, birth. right. I know they didn't exactly, but <clears throat> if. Okay, this is, I'm just gonna say it, but whatever. Right. If for whatever reason I was implanted with a rat, okay, it yeah. was in my body, yep. and then I died, yeah. and then you took my DNA. Yeah. Let's say cloning is real, and you know, or as advanced as you can make me again. I'm not gonna have a rat inside of me. Yeah. Like, it, the idea- like that's what was that what they thought was gonna happen though? They well, they did it. For- or were they just thinking? Go so ahead. I, the, make the DNAs were mixed together. Right. And that's why she is like half person, half alien. Yeah. But that's not what they were intending, is it? No. But they, they needed to clone her because the DNAs were mm-hmm. mixed. And so they had to do it so many times, which eight times, not enough times, by the way. No. <laughs> There's like, they were so Try far like off. Six to seven, a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, There'd be so many dead Ripley's. Yeah, 
So, but or each time, weird Ripley's. it was like a weird mix between a human and a So the eighth time was the closest to getting them separate and rebuilding their DNA structure in between the two. Why the alien had to be yeah. inside Ripley still doesn't make any sense. I also felt like... Also, why was she... Why didn't make her good at basketball? <laughs> I don't know. That was the dumbest scene. It was so bad. She's just like... Like, it's not like they set up in the past that, like, she's good at basketball. Yeah. But they made it to where it's like, okay, look at Ripley now. She's half alien. She's faster. She's stronger. She's better at basketball. She's better at basketball. Like, why is... Why are you sh- showing that that's, like, one of the side effects? Well, they... They, also, let's just make a team of them and make a super, like an all-star team of Ripley's. The Monstars. The Monstars. <laughs> um, she's, when she's showing off her basketball skills, she's just passing the ball from hand to hand. Left to right. And Ron Perlman's like, wow, you got moves. Like, no, she doesn't. <laughs> she's not Look, doing any basketball moves. She's just, she's just 80% moving. of the time. Uh, I can move a basketball to pick up my hands, and I am very bad. <laughs> um, but that whole scene where she shoots it behind her head, it's one of those that pops up on YouTube compilation videos all the time about, you'll never believe that they actually pulled this off practically type thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Don't really? Watch Mojo, yeah. And it's just like... You'll never believe how much nobody cares. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one, man. Wow, it is terrible. This felt like a punishment video. It did. It for sure was a punishment. Like, the first two were boring, right? But they at least had a decent narrative. You know, they're too long. Yeah. You could fit the whole story in the 30 minutes and be caught up. But yeah. this one, man, it was so tonally all, all over the place, inconsistent. It, it was, was everywhere. It, like, it just it didn't make any sense at all. Upsetting. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I don't know if this is strictly because the other three are so bad, but do I like number three? I don't know. Was it good? I can't remember if I even liked it or not. I just know that this one was so bad <laughs> that it makes number three look so much better. Number three was decent. Number three had. I really thinking back on it, I really liked uh, Tywin Lannister. Yeah, he was good in it. Ripley was that was the best she was at. Awful. Um, but yeah, because she was toned down. She wasn't like a super soldier. Yeah, it, it, I don't understand why. Well, not she is at. Yeah, she hasn't done any. I was talking. I was talking about one. I was like, I don't get why Ripley is because she's a protagonist. Regarded as uh, this great female hero, I was like, she doesn't do anything. She only gets lucky. She's nope. way overconfident for her skill set. And she's like, that sounds like every male hero. <laughs> Which Oh burn. Fair enough, right? What's up, Mr. Matato? Uh Hakuna Matato. I would say that's wrong on all levels. Is it though? Uh referencing back to Space Jam, Michael Jordan oh, you got is it. one of the best. <laughs> Protagonist that I've ever seen in my life. Sit down, Sam. You don't know what you're talking about. Has she seen Space Jam? She's probably not. What he did against the monsters in one half? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen. Not Space only Jam that, for a long time, he dunked from half court, which I've been saying for years should have counted as three points. <laughs> it should have. How does that not count it as should three? Should have counted as three. I think half court he should <sighs> be five points. Yeah, they should. They should. It's every. See, I. I'm not a big basketball fan because I'm really bad at it, so I've never gotten into it. Also, whenever I watch a game, all I can hear is the squeaking, and it drives me nuts. <laughs> all I can hear is the squeaking. Yeah. But it would be much better if the whole court had like different zones, right? Different circles. Just and like just wherever you are, where like saw blades pop up at one spot, and then like flamethrowers. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Not at all, but I like where you're going. <laughs> I mean, like, like you said, half court, five points. If you shoot it from the other end, that's ten points. If you make it like a bat, like over the head shot, buzzer beater, you automatically win, no matter what the score is. You win. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The, the like, uh, like, uh, uh, what's the thing called in Harry Potter? Yeah, that's the only game that I've been to that I enjoyed. The Golden Snitch. 
uh, Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. Did you go with me, my dad, or did you go separately? No, I went with someone else. This was years ago, and I went. I, I didn't want to because, like I said, I'm not a big basketball fan, yeah. and someone had got tickets for, like, Josh and Dante and stuff, and yeah. they had, like, an extra one. So my mom kind of made me go. That was, like, the funnest thing. It, it, it was really fun. Yeah. Like, if this was basketball, then I would watch it. But it's not. It's not basketball. It's not. It's, it's just entertaining. It's very... Well, Alien Resurrection. Anything else about that? I feel like we oh, didn't man, cover it. I feel we were talking about this. It's no, so not even all. worth talking about. It's so bad. It's, um, it's so... I will say this. I will say this. One it's... thing that I... I don't know if I want to say that I necessarily enjoyed it but i i didn't expect it and i think it's because i did kind of forgot about it but i i did like the i, I guess you call it a twist of of uh winona rider being a, a, a robot. robot yeah that caught me off guard i didn't i did expect did you see that. that coming i didn't see that i, did, I, I did for the first half i was waiting I was like someone's gonna be a robot you know mm-hmm. and i kept kind of like looking for it and then like after a while i kind of just forgot about it and then it happened i was like Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. That was it's pretty good. I did expect her. That's to... all that it had. Oh my god. I did expect her to still be alive <laughs> after she got shot because they showed her fall in oh, the water. Yeah, for sure. And so when she popped back up, I was like, "Oh, that's not surprising." But when they showed that she was an alien, I was like, "Oh, that's actually a decent twist." Yeah. But everything they did with it after that point was dumb. Uh, yeah, for sure. So Taylor, we... um. We got a mm-hmm. comment on one of our videos. And I want to know if you can guess okay. which video. Okay. All right. It says, you are one big hater. People don't oh, even boy. know you. If you put half your work into being positive that you do into negative, maybe people actually. What do you think that comment is in regards to? To be honest, I don't even know who that's directed at. I think us as one. Okay. Um, oh. I don't know. Uh, is it one of the trailers? It is one of the trailers. I was going to say, please don't tell me someone is that defensive over the alien movies because I will fight them right now. <laughs> I am a hater. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Oh, I don't even remember the name. Oh, I bet was it was it the Medea's funeral? It was. Someone got I knew it. So mad at us for saying Medea's family really? funeral looked bad that they had to yeah. insult why I don't have any friends. And my thing was, they said take half the energy I put into being negative. I don't have to put any uh, energy into being. Negative. That's just. That's but just if I took ha- if I took half the energy I I took into being negative and I put it into being positive, then I would just be balanced. Like I wouldn't be positive. Just be zero. Because I'm all negative when it comes to that. <laughs> yeah, it, I'd be fifty percent negative, fifty percent positive, yeah. and at that point, what's the point? That movie would still look stupid. <laughs> it looks so bad. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I just I couldn't help but laugh. It was like, really? This that's, is the one that you're upset right. over? Crazy. I can see it. I can yeah. see it. People get mad. Um, alien resurrection. So, are these it for the the older alien movies? Yes. Or, are we at Predator mm-hmm. yet? Uh, no, we have. So, me and Aaron still have to do Predator mm-hmm. 2, 3, and 4. Okay. <sighs> me and you have uh, Covenant. And oh wait, what? Which one's Covenant? Prometheus. Two there's a f- there's a fifth one. Oh okay, there's Covenant is a sequel to Prometheus, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So so uh, are we doing Michael... those before Alien vs Predator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because then okay. it, it should still line up with Aaron doing Predator. With... Um, <clears throat> but Michael right. Fassbender is in Prometheus. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm. I'm I think it. I, I've already heard that it's bad, but I'm, I think it'll at least be a little more entertaining. Well, here's the thing. People who say it's bad think that the first ones are good. You know oh, well, then it's probably going to be really good. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to It's hard to know for sure. But I don't know. Alien, Alien Resurrection, 
easily worst of the four so far. Um, it's also worse than Predator yeah. 2. With, with, the number two, with number two being a very close second. Well, maybe like not very close, but pretty close second. No, I would say... I would say Alien Resurrection is a negative 5 to 5. Aliens 1 and 2 is like a, a negative 1, maybe a negative 2. So I want to, if I remember correctly, I want to say I said the first Alien is a 1. Uh-huh. And I think we said Alien 2 was like a negative 2. Yeah. I don't think we rated number 3, but if I had to rate it, I'd probably say it's a... <sighs> It feels like more than a two, but not quite a three. I but I don't want two. to break into using two and a half, so yeah. I'm going to call it two, just yeah. to be on the safe side. This one is a negative. Yeah. Did you say negative four? Negative four, yeah. Yeah, because it's still a negative four. It's so bad. But uh, yeah, um, no. the I just the the scene the scene where she walks, she finds the room, clones or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, where she? Oh yeah. So. That was They're all like the, the deformed. Those were the other seven, right? Yeah, those were the other seven. But okay. she has the that, that number me. seven, the one that was the closest to uh-huh. her. She's like, oh, that was me. the worst looking Kill one. Me. And then so is that her... where that originated from? What's that? Kill me. I I, different just... things to do it where it's like it's like a weird creature type thing, and they just say like, "Kill me." I, I don't think that has to. You haven't seen that? I, I, well, I don't think there's like, it needs a origin story. It needs an origin story. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, but she, she takes a flamethrower and burns to death her clone. I but, was like, why can't you just stab it in the head or shoot, shoot it? Yeah. Oh, let me put this thing out of its misery. In the you guys got 10 way. minutes to roast this thing? <laughs> Oh. It was so crazy. I was like, "What? Couldn't you do a more humane way? Like, if you're gonna euthanize it, seeing that, oh, oh man, seeing that creature terrible. was so unsettling. That's what really put me over the edge. I was like, "This is just, this movie's disgusting." <laughs> it hurt me to watch. I was like, "This is bad." Yeah, it's terrible. Um, and I hated everybody. I hated everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Ron Perlman was bad. Uh, Winona Ryder, like I said, Winona Ryder was fine. She wasn't great, but she just stood out, I guess, compared to the rest of the garbage. Um, the guy with the guns in his hands, uh, he was from the, the guy CSI. From... You remember him? Yeah. That guy was probably one of the worst. Yeah. They're, no, I they're hated his terrible. attitude. Not one of them were good. Um... Yeah, I, I I don't think that there was anyone that I liked. I legit have nothing positive about this movie. There is nothing that I. This is no. This is one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time. It's bad. It's definitely yeah, one of the worst for sure. It's so bad, and it shouldn't have been. Like, there's really no reason for it to be this bad, and it. Was- there's no reason for anything that takes millions and millions of dollars to create to be that bad. Uh, it was, but there's so many bad movies out there. Do you think there's more bad movies than good movies in the world? Uh, well, what's the line? What's the cutoff? Okay, do you think there's more movies rated uh, like, based on our system zero or below than there are yeah. one or better? Uh huh. Oh, that's that sucks. It sucks <laughs> to hear that because it's so true. It's well, so think disappointing. About it. Think about how many movies come out in a year. All right, you probably got fifty. That's probably a safe estimate. Oh, right? at least like yeah. fifty like box office like big big budget movies, not just like indies. Stuff like right, that, right. How many are good in a year? Five out of the fifty. Ten? Yeah, I'll say five, maybe. You know, like maybe ten. It's a small percentage where most of them are you know remakes or cash grab. You know, stuff that people just see because they're familiar, but they're never good. And then sometimes they take in a they take a big swing at it to try to make something interesting and it just falls flat on its face. Like so few movies that are actually good anymore. And like throughout history, there's so few movies that are actually 
But yeah, that's unfortunate. That's I, unfortunate. I'm excited to see what they do in Prometheus. What we'll do next week. I'm not. I'm not that excited. Well, I'd like to see the new version, right? Like what the technology. Yeah, what, how they do it. I'm sure it'll look cool at least. Yeah, it'll look way better. Um, but I've. I have not enjoyed going through this franchise. It's been mm. it's been a difficult one for me. But uh, yeah, I think uh, that does it for Alien Resurrection. I uh, have to continue my 100-hour so. stream. Which I'm, so I'm two mm. hours into it, or an hour and a half into it. And it is uh, I'm... interesting to I uh, let's see. I'm probably gonna go to bed here in 30 minutes or so. I hope that when I wake up, you have already lost. <laughs> you know what happens if I lose, right? You get you, you have to wear the Mr. Clean look. Yeah, so I have to shave my head all the right? way down, shave my face, like like shave shiny head. Shiny I don't head. remember if we talked about this. Yeah, yeah, shiny head. Okay, shave my face. Nice, and get uh-huh. a piercing in my ear. Like a legit person, a, a legit. gold earring, right? Well, not gold. It'll be. Right, do you, it'll be cheap. It'll be, it'll look good enough. I'm not gonna like spend two hundred dollars on gold earring. Ah, uh, some of that fool's gold. <laughs> uh, are you gonna wear a white t-shirt? Uh, yeah, but I, I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> That's the plan. You don't think so? No. There's no way. And where did, where's all this confidence coming? What do you think is what works most in your favor? <sighs> Nothing. There's not much in my favor, really. I, have, I got a stupid amount of confidence in myself. I have a How does your wife feel about it? Uh, about my stupidity? About what you will look like if you lose. Like the stakes. She I've shared, <laughs> <laughs> I'm already ugly enough. Like, how much worse True. I really can be. Well, I think we're about to find out. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to win. I'm going to beat Ken. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get to wrap this up, and I will get back to Ken. But thanks for listening, guys. Sorry, go Ken. <laughs> wanted to know <laughs> more about Alien Resurrection. Uh, go watch it, and you'll understand why it's so difficult. I imagine most people will want to know less about it. It is it is awful. It's definitely like it's the worst. Do you even think it's worth seeing? Or the franchise. Nope, not even close. Right, like there's, there's, it doesn't add anything. And I would say watch number one, and then watch number three, and then that's yeah. it. Yeah, you could skip number two. Uh, I think it would be a better series without number two. And yep. I don't know what's gonna happen in Prometheus. I don't know what's gonna happen in Covenant. But I can't imagine they're gonna use anything from Resurrection. I hope not. Also. The last, oh, the other thing I wanted to add was the, the, the end where the alien got sucked out of the little hole. Oh, yeah. That was terrible. Jeez, weird. So they shoot a bullet hole into the window and it, like, tiny, right? It's like the size of a. No, no, no. She, uh, she, she acids the window with the alien's oh, blood. You're right. That's... Or spit or something like that. She yeah. uses that. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, the, the suction. I, now I wonder, is, is that, Legit, would it be that strong well, with that small hole? Oh, we didn't even talk about how ugly that thing was. I know you mentioned it, but so that was the worst. They a baby alien is born that is half alien and half Ripley, and it is the worst looking thing. But why? Where, why was that born? I don't that I think that part confused me. I don't know where it came from. That came from the queen alien that shared Ripley's DNA. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, and so it I hated how it, it 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 acted as though Ripley was its mother. That was unsettling. Yeah, well, so it killed its actual mother and then treated Ripley like the mother. And oh, yeah, it was so ugly. It like the xenomorphs, the black aliens, are some of the coolest looking aliens. Not in they're the movie, they're not- ugly, but like intentionally, you know, like they're yeah. supposed to be like these gross looking, imposing things. This was just awful yeah it, it looked so bad it looked like a skeleton like a skeleton 
uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just so gooey. Yeah. Oh, so it's the, I have to imagine eighty percent of this budget went into the goo for these things. <laughs> just a a tub of goo. Just the milky goo <laughs> that went in. It just glob and glob, and they're like, "Hey, is this not?" We're like, "No, more, more goo." It's like, "Look, more goo. we're out. More dude. goo, more goo." It's like, "Off, get on the phone with investors. We need more goo." <laughs> oh man, it's terrible. And so. There's a tiny hole in the window and the suction grabs a hold of the alien and it sucks out just a tiny bit of the alien until it rips it off. And then just like a Ziploc bag of mashed potatoes with a hole in it, just <laughs> pumps everything from its inside, just <laughs> comes squirting out of the hole until it sucks its skeleton completely through. It is just so crazy. Ugh. So over the top ridiculous. <sighs> I hated it. I thought we're done. Let's be done now. Let's, we're done. That's it. Alien Resurrection finished. Thank you guys Shut for it listening. Down. We will be back next week with Prometheus, I think is the next one. Pretty sure. Whichever, yeah. whichever is the next one in the series, excluding Aliens vs. Predator, that will happen in a couple of weeks from now with Aaron and Taylor all together. <laughs> An unprecedented <coughs> mashup of the greatest podcasters. <laughs> All right. Podcasting heavyweights. Heavyweights.